Good morning, Wyoming. I didn't think I'd actually be staying the night here, but now I'm going to take a zero day and just spend the whole day in this park and bike around the city. It's a really nice place. So I picked up this little magazine guide. Check this out. This is on the first page. Wyoming has no corporate or personal income tax, no state debt, low regulation, and outstanding quality of life. I can highly respect that. Wait, it gets better. This town has fiber. I am definitely going to go find some high-speed internet today. They also have Wyoming's largest movie theater screen. I like this town. Well, there's no power at the campsites, but there is power in the restrooms. So I just ran my cord out in my cooler, and it is happily purring away. I'm just going to save so much money on ice, letting that run all day. It's really cold out. Well, I'd say pretty cool. It can cool 40 degrees below ambient, which is definitely very close to freezing, so good for me. We have the bike out. We're going to go ride to town, find some internet, upload a few episodes, and get on with today's special project of filming. I like this. Tried the visitor center. The visitor center has very bad Wi-Fi. She directed me to the local library, which might have better Wi-Fi. Either way, it's actually closer to my parking location. So let's head there. Let's try the library. Dang it. Now that's more like it. And there's power. Power! So the internet wasn't quite as fast as I would hope, but it did the job and we got three episodes uploaded. Woo! So I'm heading back to camp and we're going to do something completely different than what I had planned. See, I had planned to shoot a video called What's in My Car? Basically how I've been living for the past few months, more focused on my equipment than this face because I've been vlogging a lot. Hi. Hi. So I've run into a bit of a problem. I've run out of places to put tally marks. I'll have to start up top or something. Oh yeah, there's a train that runs behind the park I was staying at. It's a very active train line. Ooh, I should squish some pennies. Remind me, brain. So past about, say, 5,000 feet, the engine in this car turns into a single cylinder motorcycle engine. I'm basically flooring it. We're barely doing 40. Yep, pretty high up. And we're at 9,000 feet. I might as well be driving a horse-drawn buggy and carriage. In unrelated news, electric vehicles don't have this problem. What's my altitude? It's over 9,000! Oh, I'm so lonely right now. It seems like it's tradition every time I'm on vacation to buy a skateboard. But this one's electric. Am I Casey Neistat yet? Oh, this is nice. I'll just get a cruise around town for a bit. Well, that's max throttle. I like this. I like it quite a bit. 20 minute review of the UNEC, Unique Unitech Ego 2. It's a very nice electric board that I got for, guess what, $90. Really good controller. Much better than Evolve. I'm looking at you. I wish it went a hair faster. I know its speed is limited by the motor controller right now. So I could just swap out the motor controller for something different which I probably will eventually, but for now, this thing's just fun. So I'm about to go back over the mountain. You've already seen that. Campsite, three, two, whoop. Ooh, white out. And we're back, and we're not at the campground. I lied, actually. We're way up in the hills to test the hill climbing ability. Up ahead of me is a very steep hill, and I actually just took the board up it, so I know it can do it, so let's do it again. Alright, 
that's good enough because that's my car where we started. Now, I wouldn't call this board really great at climbing hills, but my car is down there, quite a ways down there, and it climbed all the way up here and could have kept going had I not stopped. Now, here's the great thing. When I'm going back down, the brakes work pretty well, enough that I don't feel in danger or like I have to bail or anything. Let's head back down. I've also been told it's regenerative braking, so I'm actually gaining power right now. This thing is a spaceship rocket. I love it. Highly impressed with the performance. And for 90 bucks, you cannot beat this. No one could beat this. Okay, now we go to the campground. And now we're back at camp. Gonna have some dinner, board is charging in the bathrooms because there's no power at the site. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this evening. Well, I'm going out on an evening ride. If I see something cool, I'll record it with my phone. But this camera's staying here. Bye. So I gave a ride to a few kids and they said, hey, our town has a skate park too. You should check it out. So I did and I'm here. We got a ramp that's Way too steep. Your normal stair set. And another ramp that's too steep. This weird coping thing. A little kick ramp. There's this. Judging by the rust, it hasn't been used ever. And a little ground flat bar. And to be real honest, this whole park is way above any of the kids around here's skill level to the point that They'd hurt themselves if they tried to even use any of this. It's just a dangerous skate park. And it's surrounded by grass, so no one's going to use it. Duh. Grant's death. Full speed! And I'm just coasting. I'm going much faster than the board can. Woohoo! Oh, the big hill! Full break. Safe again. Future editor, check the timestamps. How long was I out? Cause I felt like about two hours of solid full throttle riding and it was amazing. It's getting dark and there's not much else that's gonna happen tonight. So I will close it out. This electric skateboard is fantastic. And to finish the episode off, to make sure we meet all the vlogger needs. Okay. Fidget spinner, vlogging, electric skateboard. Oh wait, uh, everyone should buy Samsung phones. I'm a big sellout, look at me. This is an LG though. Yeah, I think I've hit just about all the vlogger stereotypes now. Uh, oh, wait, there's one more. That's very nice. Okay, we hit them all. On that high note, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.